One of the most interesting things about this very difficult situation is the way in which a human condition, which was very familiar to people in the past, but which is new to us, is affecting us in particular ways. I had to go to the chemist this morning, and as I walked along, people who would usually pass the time of day, people who would smile and shoot the breeze, were nodding at each other in a sort of curt way. People were looking at strangers in a fearful way because everybody is concerned. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Especially older people or vulnerable people are being very careful, very properly. It's a difficult situation, but it's not a new situation for the church. People who worshipped in our meeting houses went through the Great Famine. They passed through the cholera epidemic that followed it. They lived through the Great Flu of 1918, something far more terrible even than the difficult situation we face today. We are ready to face tomorrow because we face it with Jesus Christ. We're going to read today from the third chapter of Matthew. This is a chapter where John the Baptist prophesies about Jesus Christ and Jesus comes and meets him to be baptized. This is God's word, beginning to read at verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. The same John had his raiment of camel hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is led unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Indeed, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened up unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. I'm going to read now from the English Standard Version of the Bible, a modern translation of the Bible, one that I use whenever I preach sometimes. This is God's Word. In those days John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region about the Jordan were going out to him, and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. Even now the axe is led to the root of the tree. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. 
He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from the Galilee to the Jordan uh, to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented, and when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Let's come together in prayer for a moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your scripture, which speaks to us of the truth of the gospel, which shows us the way in which we should go. We pray you'll bless us as we live through these difficult times. We ask blessing on those who are set over us in government. We pray for our church, for our denomination, for our congregation, for the witness to the gospel that we can have in these difficult times. We pray you will strengthen us. We pray you'll lay your healing hand on the sick. We pray you'll be with those who uh, in our country are tasked with the healing of the sick. We thank you for the gift of human medicine and of the human mind. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, and don't forget to come back uh, tomorrow, Sunday, at 11 a.m., when we'll be looking at the book of Proverbs, a very, very helpful scripture for the sort of difficult times in which we are living. See you tomorrow.